What's up, everybody? JC for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, Bowman Chrome, 19. Baseball, 12 box hobby case break. Pick your team's number three. Sold out. So here you go. And at the end of the break, we're going to give away $100 in break credit. All you had to do to be entered was to buy two teams. Two teams gets you one entry into the giveaway. If you bought four teams, you get two entries. If you bought six teams, you get three entries. So at the end of the break, we'll randomize the list of customer names with two or more uh, teams in this break. Randomize them. And then customer number one gets $100 in break credit. There will also be a little hit recap video at the end of every break. So just in case, if you're watching on YouTube, you can always just scroll and uh, fast forward to the end of the break if you don't want to watch the 40-minute break. Here you go, number three. Last Bomb Mojo, Chris with the Pirates. Donna Charles with the Nationals. Alrighty, guys. So, there's a hobby right there. Let's open up the case. Remember, you get two autographs in every box, one in every mini. These are just some posters that I'm sure we're definitely going to hang everywhere around the store. Here you go. There's all 12 boxes right there. So you guys can see them all right there. All right, so I'm going to rip open four at a time. I'm gonna make the break go by quicker. It'll probably take me about 35 minutes or so, 40 minutes. So I should be done with this by, let's say, 12:15. And then uh, after this, no Bowman Chrome breaks are sold out just yet. So uh, other breaks that are sold out is Flawless Random Hit Number One and I believe Number Two. So there's a little break schedule in the chat. So. do some flawless after this switch it up Chris I mean I think Nick would have been here to help me for sure but didn't Nick and boss and Mike have been uh, out of the office or out of the store for the last couple days they're at the industry summit in uh, in Vegas they're a little conference for sports cards sports collections are I think the industry summit just uh, is all in general just like panini like kind of uh, seminars and stuff like that Another manufacturer, card manufacturer. So, yeah, I'm sure Nick, Nick would have definitely been here to help, but he's out of town. So that's why I definitely came in early. But I don't mind doing this, man. I I, I love doing Bowman Chrome breaks, Bowman baseball breaks. Honestly, I just know that it's kind of a drag for you guys because some of you guys may have to sit and watch 45 hour long breaks. But I honestly don't mind this. It's fun for me, man. I'm going to have fun with that five case Bowman break tomorrow, too. Ray Rice, what's going on, buddy? eBay, we're doing a five case player break. That's going to be fun. But uh, yeah, Nick is. Uh, I think Nick and Bossman might come back tonight, so they'll be here tomorrow. So I'm sure Nick will be here to help Joe out if we still have more Bowman Chrome on the website. I know, right? For reals. I, man, <laughs> me being an Eagles bias fan, I have Deshaun Jackson on my team as well. I mean, not that I don't have good receivers. I have great receivers, but I mean, I have Michael Thomas. I went wide receiver heavy. That's kind of usually what I do in a PPR, but I have Michael Thomas, Adam Thielen, Deshaun Jackson on my starting lineup, but now I'm going to have to take out Deshaun to be out for a couple weeks. But I do have Marquise Brown and Terry McLaurin in the bench, so now I I get to up, upgrade at least one of those two. So, I think Marquise is going to have a better matchup than, let's say, the Bears with Terry McLaurin. So, hopefully Hollywood Brown goes all Hollywood on the Chiefs defense and scores some points. That's going to be a, the game of the week right there. Ravens, Chiefs, honestly. That's going to be a very exciting game to watch. Yeah, and that's the one thing. Now now with Drew Brees out, yeah, Michael Thomas is... I mean, he's still going to get catches, which is good. He just may not get the yards. So, as long as he gets catches for me, at least in a PPR, I'm okay. 
but what helps is the catches, the touchdowns, and all that. So, yeah, my, my team's going to probably struggle just a little bit early on. And I think Josh Jacobs is a little injured. He's one of my starting running backs, you know. So, I have other decent running backs. I have a lot of rookie running backs, obviously, actually. I, I went just so receiver heavy, good receivers at least, that my running backs are just kind of all unknowns. I have Josh Jacobs. I have David Montgomery. And then on my bench, I have Miles Sanders, Eagles rookie running back. So, yeah. It was a big hit or miss for me type of year. Kind of like last year where I drafted at wide receiver heavy and did well. I didn't make it to the finals. I think I lost like fourth place or third place. But It's funny because I always get projected to like be the worst team in the league. But I never really am the worst. Usually when they do those league projections. But we'll see. It's a long season, so that's the good thing. I think a good pickup this week, guys, if nobody's drafted him in your leagues, is uh, Nelson Aguilar. I think he's going to definitely have a huge game like he did last week. More mentally prepared now, too, being the number one for the Eagles, at least for the next two weeks. I know, right? It's like we're, we we love the hobby, so we know these younger players uh, so much that <laughs> you know we're over here drafting these guys that are just not like well-known players yet. Like, I'm sure one of my friends is like Terry McLaurin. Like, why are you drafted this guy? I'm like, man, I think this guy's gonna be number one for them. You know, and I just drafted Marquise Brown right at the end too because I remember he was a little injured in preseason, and they didn't expect him to be like the number one right away. But definitely week one change everything Ryan says I have a very balanced team DJ Moore Ryan uh, Ryan DJ Moore Tyreek Sanders yeah that's actually pretty good Kettle and for Texas to start off Eli White purple 250 Daniel with the Rangers yeah well I don't know I think Kamara's stock was be rising right wouldn't wouldn't now with Breeze you'd kind of want to go Kamara heavy? Obviously he may not be doing a lot of catching, but maybe maybe so. I think Bridgewater's gonna check down to him a lot. If anything, it's like what Chris said, Michael Thomas stock is gonna be going down. <laughs> the receivers more than anything. But not that Teddy Bridgewater is bad though. I, I think he's gonna do better than people expect though. I think he's gonna be just fine. Uh, for Milwaukee, autograph. CR. Cam Rogner. So there you go. Rory, on the board. I know we got to get a Keystone, but hey. This helps. Yeah, that drop's going to haunt now, Stackler. Man, he should have had that. That he, The Eagles would have won that game. But again, drop missing that ball, Gilman, and then <laughs> catching the fourth and fourteen and just catching that ball was even more amazing. So I think he'll be just fine. Sometimes you need kind of plays like that to kind of just you know, rub it off. And that's crazy because you rub it off, you're like, damn, I just missed that. And then you go and just like catch that nice fourth and fourteen and just get popped doing it too. Four ninety nine, McKenna. And we have a Jordan Adams for the Angels. Star Tracker. Isolated power to ninety nine. Nice on card right there as well. Oh, uh, that's Angels. Dan. With the Angels. Uh, Turang to 150 for Milwaukee. Yeah, I know, man. It, see, look at Carson. 
Carson just lays his body on the line, though, guys. Like, that's the one thing I do appreciate about him. I hate it. But, I mean, this last game, he was getting killed out there. But, you know, you, you got to love that he's not willing to back down. But it's like, uh, take it easy. You know what I mean? Like, but if that game shows you the first half was horrible. Second half, he basically was like, all right, that's how it's going to be. Then, you know, I'm going to give it my best. I'm going to give it my all. And that's the one thing he does do. You know, I appreciate about that about him. But knowing his injuries in the past, it just kind of makes you not want him to do that. But, you know, he does lay it out there. He, he lays his body out there, really, to be honest. Which is not a good thing, but also, if he doesn't get injured, then great, awesome. But he definitely needs to protect himself a lot more. But that game, it's kind of like he needed to do that. You know what I mean? Like, hard to say that, but he did. If it wasn't for him doing what he did, a brave refractor to 499. Eagles, I don't even think they have a chance to come back. I mean, that one play where his knee just almost hit the ground was amazing. Victor Mesa Jr., Marlins to 150. You know? But yeah, I'd rather have him long term more than anything. Next box. Oh, definitely, yeah. Everybody needs to learn from Russell Wilson. He's another player that does amazing things like that, but knows when to avoid <laughs> all that contact. Nick Green, but I think he's much more mobile. Him being, I think, a little smaller kind of helps him, too. To 150, Bobby Dalback, Red Sox. Taylor Ward of 499, Angels. Whoa. Uh, Lee to 150, KC. And he, uh, Jimenez, or Jimenez, Leonardo to 150 Bowman's first for Toronto. Kyle with the Blue Jays. Jay Cave to 150 Twins. All right, next four boxes. All right, so this is Hobby Pick Your Team number three. Here is the, the break schedule from what's sold out so far. So our Hobby Pick Team number three, and then we're going to go to Flawless, random hit number one. Then we'll go to some personal hobby boxes or Bowman boxes that were purchased. And if you're not here, I may skip them just to let you know. I don't know. I don't know if we should I, I feel like we should wait for the customers to come watch us since they purchased the personal so at the same time if you're here and you want to do your personal box we'll do it if, if I don't know notice that you're here I'll probably just skip and maybe Joe can do it for you a little bit later just because I think it's kind of unfair but if you have the ship sealed uh, one then I'll make sure that you didn't choose that one so that way I don't have to worry about it but I know Matthew or Matt Gomes wanted to do that. I don't know if you're still here watching Daniel too. I think you purchased a couple of personal boxes. I don't know if you want me to do those now too or you want Joe to do them a little bit later. You just let me know. I'll be breaking here for about another two hours, guys. So once I get done with this hobby and done with random hits, personal boxes, stuff like that, um, I may have time to squeeze in another hobby, XR, 
Maybe pick your teams of uh, the flawless or maybe an HTA break. So, so what I All right, cool, man. Yeah, I'll do yours for sure if you want me to. So, like I said, I should be done with this by 12:15. Uh, not so far. I've only done a couple boxes. Oh, I mean, at least I don't know. What's up, Matt? This is number three, so like I was telling Daniel, I know you have personals, he has personals. So once I get done with this one, number three, in about like 15, 20 minutes, I'm going to do random hit number one. And then I'm going to skip over to do your guys' personal boxes. And then I'll go do random hit number two. And then from, from what the looks of it is, nothing else is sold out, but there's HTA that's really close that we can do too, so... Again, after all that, even I might even be able to squeeze that HTA in if I have about a close to an hour left to, for another break. So, if you guys want to do another hobby, if you guys want to do a flawless XR, I think that's pretty much what I'm going to be able to get to. And I think if the dual case sells out, I'll leave that for Joe because I'll probably help Joe do it, but I think that one would take a little bit longer, so I won't be able to do it. So. The big one will definitely be for later. Any of you guys purchased a new iPhone already? I actually have I actually haven't updated uh updated my iPhone in a couple years. So I actually went out yesterday got it myself the pre-order for the new iPhone I didn't get the Pro Plus because I don't really like the huge phone but I did get the 11 Pro won't be able to get it this Friday but I think it's going to get shipped to me on next Friday so we'll see it's been a while since I've had a new iPhone <laughs> Of course, don't be shocked what color I got for the pro. Alright, next four boxes. Yeah, I mean, I haven't had an iPhone upgrade in a couple years, so... I just wanted to get one of the newer ones so that way I don't have to feel like I'm like way behind. As long as it works for me, I'm cool with it, but I do like the whole all touch thing. I still have, I think mine's iPhone 7 or 8. I like, uh, I still have like the button, so. All right, we got for the Cleveland Indians first one. Uh, Rocio? Samsung. I, I like Samsung. I don't mind it. I just, uh, I don't know. I just, I guess I'm a little biased towards iPhone. I've always liked the iPhones. But I don't really, I don't like bash on Samsung and say, oh, team iPhone. But 
I've just always been more biased towards them. So. I mean, I even like the Pixel. I think the Google Pixel is also a pretty nice one, people say. Michael King, Bowman's first. Yankees. Aloha, what's up, Roy? Rocking the Samsung J3 Pro. Two fifty Buster Posey. Four ninety nine Corey Kluber. Bo Bichetti. And we got an orange to twenty five. Zuriel Jr. Two fifty Perdomo D backs and Royals Del Rosario Four ninety nine, Josh Hader. Nice, that's good, John. Yeah. I mean, I don't really use all the features on my iPhone either. Just social media, texting, talking, obviously games, certain apps, of course, for work. Other than that, Schmidt for the Yankees. That's why I feel like the Samsung is like Samsung. You can do so much different things. It's kind of like I don't think I need a phone like that. Although it may be cheaper than an iPhone, but like I said, I don't know. It's just more, more biased. And then I have Apple Music, so <laughs> I was like, yeah, this iPhone's good for me. Because my brother-in-law's big, like, Team Samsung, and he's just, like, hates iPhones. He's like, you guys are dumb, you know, la, la, la. You can do so much more with your Samsung phone. I'm like, dude, I don't need that. <laughs> but he needs it for work, you know? He's an IT guy, so he takes full advantage of everything. And we got Pineda to four ninety nine Bowman's first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Samsung and iPhones they have great photos. But I think it's just so funny how like yeah. I don't know I guess it's because it's two different softwares maybe but like when a, a Samsung photo comes to my photo it's like all distorted it looks nasty and then like when I send an iPhone photo to them it looks all different too Yamamoto for the Marlins so I think it's so funny when there's always those memes out there like you know this guy has a Samsung when the photos are like this one I'm like dude when they take photos on their on their phone it's like beautiful so it obviously has to do with like just Different phones and stuff like that. Austin Riley to two fifty. All right, guys, last box here, and then we have four more boxes. Four ninety nine, Pineda, and we got Al uh, Alcala, Alcala. Jorge, George, Minnesota Twins, I feel like I've been hitting in every case, Charles with that one, oh dude, they're bringing those back, John, Those they're bringing back the Razors, I heard that on the news the other day, or on social media, I think. Texas Rangers Tejada to 50. But that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I kind of just want a razor just because like I've always wanted one when I was a kid. My brother's the one that had like the razor. Lavar, Avavra. Rockies, EA, this is the guy you wanted, right? Man, do you guys remember? I think my sister also was also. I'm, I'm the baby of my family, actually. Um, 
my brothers and sisters are much older than me. Justin Turner. So like, one of my older sisters had the sidekick, man. Now that was the phone to have. <laughs> she had it and I was just always so jealous. All right, guys, last four boxes of pick your team number three, Javi. Little battle scar. the cricket yeah my brother also used to have like cause you guys do you guys remember when when having like iTunes music was like exclusive to AT&T at one point just like the iPhones were and um I remember he had a phone one of the first phones how crazy is this right one of the first phones from AT&T that allowed you to store at least a hundred songs in your phone from iTunes or something like that I remember I was just so jealous. It was like a hundred songs. You know how many songs that is? Like, see, before you obviously you can only like copy on a CD like top 16, 17 songs depending on the minutes. I remember I was so jealous of that one phone too. I actually, guys, <laughs> my parents never wanted to get me a phone, and I don't know why. I just, I just don't think they wanted me to have one. So like, I literally started off with like a prepaid phone. I literally had to like work for a prepaid phone. <laughs> um, like in high school, I think my first phone I got was like, I think a freshman or sophomore year in high school. I had a damn prepaid phone from like, I forget the company too. And it was just so ridiculous. Like it was just so much cheaper for them to just get me a phone with minutes and text. But like I had to pay like $50 for like 60 minutes. And like every text message I sent was like 50, a half a minute. <laughs> on my prepaid phone and so what I used to do is like when my friends were texting me just to save the minutes because I had to like work for it do chores and stuff um, I legit would like read like half the message and then I delete it because if I opened it I get charged the 50 cents or 50 half a minute but it's just so funny all my other friends just had phones and I was like dude what the hell man it wasn't until like maybe I think I was a junior or senior year. They finally got me a phone. Oh, you know what? It might be that one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, before the iPod came out. You know, I used to have, man, what was that one called? I used to have one of the cool iPods. But I don't even think it was called an iPod. It might have been called an iPod, actually. Um, it was like a thick one. Not one of the first ones, but like the second one. It come out in lime green and like these weird colors that were so cool. And it was like legit only six gigabytes. But it was so awesome because six gigabytes got you like 2,000 songs. I was like, wow, this is great. And then me, I traded it for a PSP, which is a whole nother story, but PSPs, man. That, like, Zooms. Zooms were pretty fun. Zooms, I think it is. Zooms. It's pretty fun back in the day. I kind of appreciate back in the day, like, going through all that, living through that. Yeah, Pixel 3. I have a, have a buddy of mine that is Team Pixel for sure. He says that definitely that's the best phone out there. Which I'm like, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I don't remember what it was called, but it was really cool. It's like a fat one. And then I remember the shuffles came out, the little square ones. And like the iPod Nano. <laughs> it was like all these crazy things. 
Oh, well, you're probably, like, different generation, though, right, John? Like, cell phones weren't, like, super big. I remember my mom saying she had the big, like, brick phone. But for me, like, in the mid-2000s, almost 2010, like, I graduated high school in, I think, 2012, 2011. It was, like, phones were really getting in, you know? So I was just kind of mad that I didn't have one. While everybody else did, so. I had to work for it. Go prepaid before anything. Nice, Rory. Lucky, lucky bastard. <laughs> My nephew had his first phone when he was like nine, but it really wasn't a phone. Like, it was one of those, uh, it was one of those, uh, call mom, dad, police department, and like fire department. So, <laughs> so it's funny because he'd just kind of call, kind of just call everybody, call, kind of call his mom and dad all the time just because he wanted to. But yeah, I mean, I had prepaid pretty much through high school too until like the end of. Pretty much senior year, I finally got a regular phone. Like, I got a rumor from, like, I think Sprint or something. To 150, Robinson Cano. Yeah, fun times. Last four boxes. Geraldo, Bowman's first. Griffin Canning, Angels. Judge, 250. 499, Joey Bar. Oh, walkie talkie, remember that? Those Motorola phones from Sprint? I remember those. <laughs> You'd be like, hey. My sister actually had one of those. Canario. Canario. For the Giants. That was pretty cool. I just remember, like, when my family would go up to, like, the lake with the jet skis and stuff, and we are traveling in multiple cars. That's the way we kind of talk to each other. All right. Three boxes left. Oh, the sidekick. That's what I was talking about earlier. I was so jealous that my sister had one of those. Esteban Floreal to 25. Orange Shimmer. Yankees, I mean. Yankees have always been pretty low everywhere. Zach Brown. Come on, Keiston. There you go, Rory. At least two other autographs, though. Maybe this guy will be pretty good. Places, oh, you're 18, yeah. Garcia. I didn't have no PlayStation 1s or any of that. I think my first, like, game console was, like, Xbox 360, maybe. And then, I think I might have had a PS2, but it was more my brothers than anything. 499, Luis Garcia. And we got Gregory Guerrero. Bowman's first to 250. No, Rory, I just keep on saying, come on, Keiston, come out. I've gotten you two other, I think, prospects for the for the Brewers. Sorry, I don't want to excite you that way. 250. It's just, uh, I've been wanting to get that for you since I know you have them in number three. Oh, two boxes to go. Little green, Sean. Really? I mean, I, I always thought you can still do like emergency contact like that, yeah? So really, if it doesn't have no reception or anything? Or not activated, you mean? Wow, that's pretty nice. Whitlock. It's a cool feature. <laughs> 
<laughs> grind up with it. We had two cups and a long string as a fun for real though, right? Honestly, that sounds fun though. Joey Bart. See, that's the days I miss right there. Those kind of, right? Two cups and a long string. So cool. And uh, when, what is it? One CL, Perez. Bowman Chrome first, Detroit. I have not actually. Have you really? I've never tried. No, I've only tried it with cups. Uh, I'm sure I didn't even make it work right. All right, guys. Last box. Good luck. We have Feltner to four ninety nine Bowman's first. Yes, I've, I'm sure you guys have seen it. The patch is right here. And it is a Seattle Mariner. Evan White. Number to 99. Fall League Relic. So Seattle Mariners. Kai Hang. Danny Jansen, rookie green for Toronto. 250 Newton. And Jimenez, Toronto Blue Jays. Alrighty, guys. Well, again, tough to hit. A lot of big-name players in Topps products. Um, you know, it's not like Panini. No licensing. Have more uh, opportunities to get more autographs from a lot of big-time players. But, hey, again, with this Bowman Chrome stuff, a lot of these Bowmans first, I mean, as long as, long as I mean, I don't know them much, but they can become big-time players years down. So, really, it's kind of more just like holding on to them and seeing what they could become. But here you go. So here's a little hit recap video. Here's all the numbered cards that'll be top loaded. So there you go. Swanson at 4.99, Newton for the Mets to 250, Jansen at 99, Harper, Phillies edition, uh, Phillies Garcia, Florial, Yankees, Joey Bart, Giants, Judge, Canning for the Angels, Turner for the Dodgers, Tejada, Texas Gold, Pineda. Washington Nationals, Austin Riley for the Braves, Rodriguez for the Baltimore Orioles, Schmidt, Hader, Perdomo, Jarrell Jr., Kluber for the Cleveland Indians, Posey for the Giants, Pirates, Stafford, Adolfo, White Sox, Kinsler, San Diego, Twins, Cave, Lee, KC, Ward, Angels, Delback, Boston, Red Sox, Victor Mesa Jr., Marlins, Adele, Angels, Terang, Brewers, McKenna, Orioles, and Yamamoto, Marlins. So these are all just the numbered cards. Also, these two are numbered cards, I forgot. Uh, Giants, Cano, Mets. Now here were all the hits as in autographs. So there you go. Jimenez, uh, Blue Jays, Evan White, Relic, Mariners. Faulkner, Roy, uh, Rockies, Perez, Tigers, Yankees, Whitlock, Mets, Guerrero, um, Brewers, Brown, uh, Giants, Canario, Blue Jays, Geraldo, Rockies, Vavra, Twins, Alcala, Marlins, Yamamoto, Nationals, Pineda, uh, Cardinals, Machado, Yankees King, uh, Royals Del Rosario, Indians, Rocio, 
Jimenez blue to 150 for the Blue Jays. Yankees green. Abreu for the um, Houston Astros. Washington Augustine. Here's a stat tracker. Jordan Adams for the Angels. And you got Gilman for the Yankees. Rogner for the Brewers. And Texas Rangers white to 250 purple. So there you go, guys. That was a hit recap for number three. <clears throat> so now let's switch scenes. And we're going to give away $100 in break credit to a lucky customer that bought two or more teams. Two teams equals one entry. Four teams equals two. Six teams equals three entries. So here you go. Let's actually set up a new dice roll. New list. And here are the customers. Let's actually alphabetize it. Andrew with one, Brad, Brian, Charles, you had two. So you get one entry. Chris Miller, Aspen Mojo, one. Dan, you have two, you get one entry. Uh, Daniel, you had three, so you get one entry only. If you had one more, you'd have two entries. Patera with one, DMAC, you have two, you get one entry. David, you have two, you get one entry. EA, you have two, you get one entry. Tillman, and Kyle, Martin, Michael, Robert, Rory. Brian D. Moore with two, so you get one entry. Rex with one, Travis with two, you get one entry. So there you go. Here's the customer names with chances to win $100 in break credit. Winner take all. There you go. All you had to do is buy two teams at least. And there you go. Number one gets 100 bucks. It's a six and a four, 10 times. Good luck, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Look at that EA, there you go. $100 of break credit coming your way, there you go, nice. So you go guys, this was number three, Bowman Chrome Hobby. Coming up next guys is uh, Flawless Random Hit number one, appreciate it everybody.